Hey there, it's Jason Eichmiller, reverse mortgage expert. And today in a very short and concise video, we are going to go over the new reverse mortgage line of credit. And the reason why I'm doing it, a couple of reasons. Um, number one, I get question after question about the reverse mortgage line of credit and kind of how it works. So I feel like shooting a, uh, a quick video with case studies, folks that I've helped and the inner workings of it would really, really, uh, really benefit folks. And number two, this is just, it's really, it is the most powerful, in my humble opinion, and I've done reverse mortgages, geez, since 2008, the reverse mortgage line of credit is the most powerful aspect of the reverse mortgage. So why not share it with you? I, I absolutely love it. I love it when my clients um, put it to use. I love looking back and seeing folks who, who have uh, gotten the reverse mortgage line of credit five years, 10 years, three years ago, and seeing the growth. Because when you look at the line of credit, and again, we're going to go through specific examples, and I'm going to show you an actual amortization schedule so you can see the projected growth of this. It's just, it's so powerful, and there are no tools, no other tools like it. So, um, again, it's going to be a quick video. There's going to be no fluff and, uh, got that fluff. Let's, let's get it rid of it. So here we go. What you are going to learn today. Oops. Uh, <laughs> fast track that a little bit. What you're going to learn today about the reverse line of credit is how seniors in 2024. Yes, this is, this video is very relevant in 2024. I'm making this in 2024 how seniors are using their home equity to create a growing retirement safety net. And oh, there's my <laughs> there's my picture of the safety net. If you fall, the safety net will save you. Well, if you're running the, the whole aspect of the, or, or the whole point behind the reverse mortgage line of credit is if you're running into trouble financially and you're not sure that your, your investments or your savings is gonna last as long as you are, We've got a safety net to help you. And that's exactly what the, the reverse mortgage line of credit will do. So this is a unique line of credit. And I do mean <clears throat> unique sometimes sounds dramatic, but in this case, it's absolutely true. It is guaranteed to grow tax-free as long as you live in your home. And later on towards the end of this little presentation, we're actually going to compare and contrast the reverse mortgage line of credit versus a HELOC. Because a lot of times I have seniors, uh, they come to me and say, hey, I'm looking at, uh, at doing a HELOC and they're either retired or they're going to be retired. And I think, why? Why would you do that? But we'll put a uh, pencil to paper and we'll compare and contrast it. And by the way, I don't just do reverses, I do HELOCs. I help people, normally younger folks with HELOCs, they're a great program. It's just when you're a senior and again, you're retired or you're going to be retired, um, reverse mortgages make a lot more sense. And there's a couple other aspects of this line of credit that make it powerful as well. So let's go through the details. Um, we're going to show you how you're going to qualify for one of these. As I've said before, uh, not just examples, but I'm going to give you case studies of folks who have used the reverse mortgage line of credit and some strategies that you can use and kind of brainstorm to uh, take your money the intelligent way. All right. So this is me, by the way, give you a very, very quick about me if you haven't heard from me. Um, if so, it'll, this will be pretty quick. My name is Jason Eichmiller. Uh, I've been uh, helping seniors with reverse mortgages since 2008, and I've helped a little bit over 460 of them. Um, that's our family over at, uh, at the, church, the local church uh, over Christmas. Uh, that's my wife, Bridget, um, taller than her, but she's kind of like leaning down. I don't know why is my daughter Alyssa, who's 13, Jay is 12, Molly is nine, who's soon to be 10. They're absolutely awesome. Um, this below is my contact information. You can also see it flashing across the screen. If you'd like to call me, then feel free. Uh, you've got my cell phone number there. Uh, just don't call me at 3 a.m. Uh, you've got my direct office line, 888-309-9705. This is really if you have any questions about how a reverse mortgage um, or a line of credit can work for you, or a loved one or a client. So you can call me, you see my email is right there, jason at keyhomelending.com, or you can go to our website, it's www.reversequotes.com. 
Um, there you can submit your information. It'll either be on your right if this is a desktop or um, if you're going off of your uh, cell phone, your mobile phone, uh, then the form submit will be right below. Just pop in that little bit of information and I'll reach out to you and do my best to help. Um, if you scroll farther down, you can see interviews that I've done with seniors and some testimonials. Uh, here are a couple testimonials. The one on the rights from Henry helped him uh, a couple months ago. The other one is from Kevin. Um, he also closed a couple months ago. He was the second reverse mortgage that we have done together. He originally used it to move from Pennsylvania down to Boca in, in Florida, and then he needed some more money out of his house. His house had really appreciated. So we, we helped him use a little bit more money uh, for a roof, and then we actually opened up a line of credit for him. So practice what I preach. I'm in love with the reverse mortgage line of credit. And anytime I can implement it, I'm, I'm ecstatic to do it. So uh, let's just go over the basics on reverse mortgages very, very quickly. Uh, just so you know what these are, I feel like this is it's better to do it this way than to jump straight into the line of credit. Because if you've never seen this stuff before, you might say, the line of credit's great, but how does this work again? So 10,000 foot um, level on a reverse real quick. Um, reverses are their HUD FHA programs. Um, they're only for folks who are 62 or older. If you get a proprietary reverse, you can be 55 or older, but proprietaries don't have really have great lines of credit. So we're gonna kind of ignore that for this video. Um, but basically you get tax-free cash based on your age and you aren't required to make any sort of monthly payments. Although a question I get all the time is can I make a monthly payment? And of course the answer is yes. Now you as a senior and you and your spouse, if you have a spouse, you continue to own the home. You have, you have full ownership of it. You can live there the rest of your life if you want. You can make payments if you want, as we just, uh, as we just said. And um, when you pass away, your house is going to go to your kids and they're gonna decide if they want it or if they don't want it. If they wanna keep the house, just refinance. It's, it's the exact same thing as a regular mortgage. If you wanna keep the house, just refinance what's owed and you've got it. You can keep it. Just pay back the reverse mortgage company, whatever you owe them. Um, if you don't want it, you just want to pick up some dollars off the ground. And that happens a lot with the uh, the heirs that I work with. They've already got their families. They already have their own house. They don't want mom and dad's house, but they could use a couple bucks. So just sell it. Whatever's owed will get paid back uh, through the sale and you will get the rest. Um, all reverses are non-recourse, which means that you can't ever owe more than the house is worth. It's not really a problem or an issue when you're looking at a reverse mortgage line of credit, but you do have FHA backing there that if, let's say, your house is worth 600 and 650 is owed um, in some way, the market would absolutely have to collapse for that to be possible. Um, but it did happen back in 2008. If more is owed on it than it's worth, then the government actually writes a check to pick up the tab. So again, uh, I already say uh, we give you part of the value in tax-free cash. And yes, the older you are, the more you get, the younger you are, the less you get. So a little bit more if we go deeper, that's the framework. Here's why people use reverse mortgages quite a bit. They own their home. They want to live in their home for the rest of their lives. Again, no crystal ball, things happen. But if you intend to live in your house for the rest of your life and either your cash flow is kind of tight, or you look at your savings and maybe you don't have investments, maybe you do. Um, if you just have uh, savings and you know that you don't have any sort of a safety net, you have nothing to fall back on. If you have investments, maybe you're taking you're taking too, too much out of it too fast and you're worried that your investments aren't gonna last as long as you do. Those are two excellent reasons why, kind of high level, why people get reverses. And then specific examples, we'll use reverses to help. And th these are all things that I have <clears throat> that I have done personally for my clients. We, we've eliminated their mortgage payment and their bills. They, we've created a line of credit. We're going to talk all about that today. Um, you use it for to pay for home health care. Just recorded a video uh, yesterday to upload on home health care. Help the grandkids fund a business. Quite a few folks who have used reverses recently to uh, actually grow their business. Um, but basically, what this video again is going to be about is using your home equity, using a reverse mortgage to open up a line of credit, maybe not taking much now, but just creating that safety net. I know I say safety net all the time. Another branch on the money tree would be another analogy or synonym, um, but 
create some backing so that you're comfortable. And if you need to use it, you've got more cash than you did before. That's the whole point behind this. So now many seniors, I don't know why I'm reading this. You can read this. <laughs> many seniors want to live in their home for the rest of their lives, but they have a problem. Like I said, and think about yourself, think about your situation, or if you're an adult child, think about what your parents are kind of thinking and what, what keeps them up at night. But they're, they're worried that their money will run out before they pass away. And there have been plenty of studies on this. And one that was recently done was, and it actually, they keep doing it year after year because it's so powerful. Um, there was a study done by uh, Allianz and um, they found that over, I think it's in the high 60s to low 70s, um, 60 to 70% of seniors these days are more worried about their money running out while they're alive than they are about dying. It seems weird, but if you actually think about your situation and you drill down into it, we're all going to go. But if our money goes before we do, then that's a real, real problem. So um, what are some, uh, some future expenses that you can have? Um, home health care. That's probably for most of you that's down the line, you're not even thinking about it. But there are statistics that say that a good majority of us are going to need some sort of health care within our lives. And almost everybody, over 70 percent, another study done, love studies. Um, another study study done says that we that um, over 70 percent, I think it's actually too low. They like said about 76 percent of seniors um, would rather stay in their home um, while they're getting their health care then go to the nursing home. I think it should be about 90 something. And if you pull my clients, it's darn near 100%. So anyway, home, uh, expenses like home health care, emergencies, inflation is out of control. You understand that. You go fill up your gas tank, you go to the grocery store, property taxes, homeowners insurance in some states. It's absolutely out of control. But that's the same thing as increased cost of living. And on the good, that's all negatives and, and things that keep you up at night. But also, you know, you're retired and this should be your golden your golden years or the golden age. Um, you've got weddings, you've got travel, you've got vacations, you've got kids, like all sorts. And when I say weddings, maybe you've got a daughter and you're paying for her. Um, you're paying for her wedding. I've got two daughters and a son, so I've got to pay for at least two weddings. Oh, um, that's intimidating. So... Yeah, we've got all these expenses, all these issues that come up where we're, we might not need money right now, but we're sure as heck going to need it in the future. So how can how can the reverse, you might be asking, you know, how can the reverse mortgage line of credit help? And again, not help right now, really, but set you up so that five years, 10 years, 20 years down the line, you're financially OK. Now we're going into case studies. So let's talk about David and Jenny. So David and Jenny, they're they're in their late 60s. They have a mortgage and I mean it's it's not cheap, but more importantly than and you understand with a reverse mortgage that we pay anytime you have a mortgage on your house, we pay it off. But more importantly than the mortgage payment, their their investments have dropped just sharply since really everybody's investments dropped in, in 22, uh, 2022. Dave's still working or was still working um, and he wanted to retire, but his investments were, he like calculated it out with his financial advisor and they were really concerned that if he retired now that his investments wouldn't last. Um, just statistically, their home is worth 895 and they owed $137,000 on it. No, I say owed 137,000. So. How did we, obviously we did the reverse mortgage. We, we crunched the numbers and it made a lot of sense for them. So here's, here's what we did um, with the reverse. First of all, obviously, again, anytime you get a reverse, we pay off the mortgage. Um, that uh, Paying off that 137, they had the mortgage forever. So it saved them just under $1,200 a month. Every single month, year after year after year. So that means that's about $1,200 they didn't have to take out of their investments. If you think about yourself, maybe you don't have investments, maybe you just have savings. What would you do if you could save $1,200 or $1,176 a month every single month for the rest of your life? Would things get easier? Would you be able to relax a little bit more? That's what we're going for here. So that's that's part of it, but that's not the most important part. 
Um, the second part is that we opened up a line of credit for just under $181,000. That's growing right now uh, in the high sevens. So by the way, the that growth isn't fixed. It can go up as interest rates go up and that growth can go down as interest rates go down. So looking at it, and I've got the lovey face because when Dave and Ginny looked at these projections, they were they were floored. In 10 years, their line of credit is increase it's projected to increase to three hundred sixty two thousand dollars that's more than doubling in 10 years and so if we use the same projections in 20 years what's going to happen well let's see what's going to happen all right there we go um you can see look at where man my <laughs> i can't draw an oval or a circle or anything so mind the chicken scratch but if you look at end of year projections for a line of credit you can see it starts at 180. After five years, it's, it's at 256. Then it goes 10 years, 362. 15 years, when they're 84, it's 514. 20 years, they're getting up there. And who, who knows how they're how long they're going to last? Who knows how, how long any of us is going to last, right? We have, we have no idea, but the whole point is to be prepared. 20 years at, at age 89, they're at 729. 25 years um, in, they're healthy. You might make it to 94. Over a million dollars in the line of credit, 1.033. Now, just getting back to uh, right here, the growth with the line of credit, it can increase or decrease. Every year, the line of credit is going to grow. It's guaranteed to grow. In fi the financial world, you hate to see to say the G word, guaranteed. But the way it works is the line of credit equals the interest rate plus a half percent. So every single year, it might grow up when interest rates go up, it might grow at a faster rate, a faster pace. When interest rates go down, as honestly, I think they're going to do in, in 2024, we think we're going to have a couple of times where the Fed's going to drop interest rates. Well, when interest rates go down, then the growth will slow down a little bit. So maybe it'll double in 12 years instead of 10 years. That's still pretty good. So David, David and Jenny and their financial advisor, they're they're ecstatic. And he knows now when you combine not having to make that 1176 mortgage payment with this line of credit that he opened up, his investments are saved and they're they're going to be okay. And that's that's the best compliment that I can get um, as somebody who helps folks with this is, hey, Jason, because of because of this little tool, it's nothing special that I did. It's just utilizing a tool in the right way. But because we use this the right way, I'm going to be okay in retirement. Man, that's just, that's an awesome feeling. All right. Another awesome feeling, Chris. So um this is by the way we're not going to go on and on with these uh, remember i promised to give you an idea of how the reverse mortgage uh, line of credit compares with the uh with a regular home equity loan or a heloc so we're going to do that um shortly but i wanted to give you chris's story too because he's just a little bit different chris is a little younger he's 63 uh has a six hundred fifty thousand dollar house and is free and clear no mortgage but he's got low fixed income He's got high interest credit card debt and very little cash and savings. So no mortgage, which is a good thing. But when you're barely bringing anything in, you've got those credit cards and geez, I mean, if you have credit cards, take a look at your savings, see where your interest is. 15, 20. Well, Chris's was, he was averaged out to be about 18%, but I've seen worse. I've seen in the mid twenties. So his credit card debt was up and he really had nothing in savings. Like if there was an emergency, it would have wiped him out. Um, yes, social security paycheck to paycheck. It was not a pleasant place to be in for him. So, um, what did we do? So first off, we gave him at closing or three days after closing, because he had that, that three day waiting period. We gave Chris $91,000 in tax free cash to pay off his credit cards. And he had a couple home repairs, but mostly it was to pay his credit cards off. And that saved him $1,290, $1,290 every single month. 
keeps that in his piggy bank. Then we opened up on top of that 91 that he got, we opened up a $118,000 line of credit. Of course, again, it grows tax free over the years. We'll get into why it grows tax free in a minute or two. But uh, yeah, at the current rates, I mean, you saw it, you saw it with David and Jenny. Right now, the line of credit is going to double every 10 years. So in 10 years, when he's 73, it'll be about 236. When he's 83, what's 236 times 12? It'll be about uh, 472. Is that right? 236 plus 36, 7. Yeah, 472 when he's 82. So quite a bit. That that line of credit really, it's it's so powerful for it's even more powerful for him because he didn't have anything in his investments. All he had was a couple bucks in savings, and he was just spending so much of his social security on his credit cards and property taxes and homeowners insurance um, were a lot too. So anyway, Chris, again, what gives me joy here? Chris, Chris told me after he closed that he's he's able to sleep a full night, and he knows he's going to be okay. And that's just again, it's music to my ears, man. I could do I could do these all day. I do these all day. Um, it's it's amazing when you can help folks like this. So, all right, let's look, man. That's <laughs> this is quite an ugly rendition right here. I'm not. I'm definitely not an artist. I'm not. I am not great at screenshots or Excel sheets or anything. But uh, the information the information is good and it's so powerful. So um, let's look at the different uh, the differences. Uh, reverse mortgage versus a HELOC. So the HELOC. Well, both a reverse and a HELOC, you were borrowing some money up against your home. Obviously, you can tell. And the green is good and the red is bad. So the HELOC, you've got to make monthly payments. As soon as you get the money, you got to pay the guy. So you're going to make pay monthly payments. A lot of times the rates are variable. So if the rates go up, then um, you're paying more. If the rates go down, you're paying a little bit less, but you're paying something. With the reverse, obviously, again, you don't, you're not required to make any monthly payments although you can if you want. The HELOC, minimum age 18. So that's a good thing for the HELOC. And um, I did this too quick. I should have had minimum age is 62 for the reverse. I should have had that in red. Um, the only thing with that is if you have an underage spouse, let's say that you're 62 and your spouse is 58, then you can still do it, but it's just going to go off of your spouse's age of 58. So there should be, again, if I wasn't doing this too fast, there'd be an asterisk there saying underage uh, Non-burning spouses are okay, unless you live in Texas, and for some reason Texas is weird and they don't allow non-burning spouses. I think it's stupid. Go figure. All right, next thing with a HELOC, um, and you can chime in if you have a HELOC. But normally your draw period, the HELOC lasts. You can have, you can get a thirty-year HELOC. So again, I should have edited that. But the draw period of a HELOC is short. Sometimes it's as little as five years, seven years, uh, ten years. I think I've seen them up to twelve. So you have a set amount of draw period for a HELOC. And then if you pass that, that time threshold, you can't take them anymore. The reverse mortgage line of credit, on the other hand, it lasts forever for your entire life. As long as you live in your home and pay your property taxes and you're a responsible homeowner, then you can draw out that line of credit. You can get the reverse mortgage line of credit at 62. And wait till you're 92 to take it and they have to give it to you even if should have put this in here too even if the line of credit is higher than your house is worth like let's say you set one up now at 62 and 25 years the economy tanks and the line of credit is actually higher than your home value you can still take it which is so powerful um, we already touched, I showed you the, um, the amortization chart for David and Jenny, um, the line of credit grows. You know, we'll go back to it real quick. Uh, here's the line of credit growth. Again, circled very poorly in red. You can see the line of credit is growing equal to the interest rate plus a half percent. So the line of credit is guaranteed to grow. And that's why I said in the beginning that there's nothing like it. There's nothing like a reverse mortgage line of credit. Of course, a HELOC doesn't grow like that. Um, Getting back to the credit line lasting for life, the reverse mortgage lender servicer slash the FHA can never, never freeze the line of credit, but the bank can. If they think your property value went down, 
if your credit line dropped, like there's so many reasons why. And when the economy, ask anybody who's had a, a line of credit through this recent like kind of housing downturn uh, or economic downturn, um, there were banks that were freezing lines of credit. And that is scary, especially when you're depending on it. Um, the reverse mortgage line of credit, we, we can accept any any credit score. Uh, for the HELOCs that, that I do, remember I told you, I do HELOCs, I understand them very well. Um, you can use a minimum, uh, one of my investors has a minimum credit of 620, although most of them are closer to 620, 680. So um, credit is no worry with a reverse, but it is a worry with a HELOC. Um, the debt to income, yes, we do run it for reverses. It is very loose though. We just want to make sure that you can afford your senior living expenses. With a HELOC, it's a lot, a lot, a lot tougher. So it's a debt to income of under 50, which basically means that your gross monthly income has to be twice, at least twice as much as your mortgage payment, interest or principal and interest, which is your mortgage payment, including your HELOC, plus taxes, plus insurance, plus anything, uh, minimum payments on your credit. It makes it very, very hard for retire folks to get a HELOC and very, very I don't want to say stupid. Well, I guess I just said it very, it's not smart. If you're planning on retiring to get a HELOC, you, you should look at the reverse. You should look at both always um, compare and contrast, but the reverse mortgage line of credit is normally more intelligent. Um, and I think this is redundant. The lender can't close the line of credit um, for any reason with a reverse and the lender can with a HELOC. All righty. What's the bottom line of all this? Told you, I'm running through this pretty quick. CPAs and financial advisors in the know who have been educated on these are now recommending the reverse mortgage line of credit to, well, think about what it did for David and Jenny. Think about, think about the examples. Think about Chris, right? You're saving monthly cash flow if you're using it to pay off some bills or a mortgage. And Depending on where you're at, if you have investments, if you have savings, if you don't, you're either drastically adding to your savings or you're creating a savings out of nothing. If you do have investments and they're down, this line of credit stops you from taking investments in a down market. And I mean, think about this. It's called sequence of return risk. And I'm not going to get too technical, but it's stuff that, that keeps financial advisors and CFPs up at night and me too really once i learned about it dug in basically if you have an asset let's say it's a hundred thousand dollars and let's say the market drops and it drops 10 percent, so it goes down to 90. then if you have to keep taking from it and then if you get taxed on it it's just it's like a triple whammy it's it makes it very very tough for your retirement accounts to recover so we actually use the line of credit and a strategy that a lot of folks have used is if your investments are lower um, if they've dropped, then you actually take from the line of credit. But when the investments go up, you take from the investments and you let the line of credit grow. So whatever is going up, you take from, and whatever is, has dropped, you kind of save and conserve. But either way, you're not just using your savings. You're not just using your investments. You're using your home equity as well. So you're adding another resource, which is going to save all of the resources. And I think saying provide an extra branch on the money tree is redundant. So. This is it. By using your home equity, reverse mortgage to supplement your savings or your investments, your cash flow in retirement, you have a far, far better chance of your savings lasting through retirement. Now, if you agree with that, if you if you think that you're in a tough spot, again, you can get in touch with me. My contact information is below. Last thing before I leave you, I'm just going to show you a bunch of testimonials um, that, I, that I've gotten from clients. Um, these are all pretty recent um, within about the year. I've got a whole bunch more on, um, on the website, reverse quotes. So I'm gonna breeze through these. If you, wanna, if you wanna look at them in depth and just go ahead and push pause on this. Um, this is Teresa. This was, Teresa was a couple of years ago, but she still calls me, calls me all the time. She's absolutely wonderful and reverse kind of it saved her retirement she's a widow um, and this did really well for her so let's go back to me real quick hello um i hope i hope this i hope you got some value out of this 
Uh, again, I am. You can you can tell how how bullish and how confident I am in the reverse mortgage line of credit. It's just done. It's done so good for so many so many seniors that I've helped, and I'm going to keep doing this as long as it's an option, which I think it'll be forever. Who knows what the government's going to do? But I'm going to keep doing this forever for my clients. And again, who I guess I should say who who would be a good a, a good prospect for the reverse mortgage line of credit? Well, if you got a lot of equity in your home, but that's not good enough. Um, it might be that your cash flow is limited, or it's, it's kind of crunched because of your mortgage or because of your credit card bills or some of your other bills. Or it might be that you don't even have a mortgage, but you're looking and you're saying, man, I I either don't have much of a savings or I do, but I'm taking out of my investments because I've got like a certain lifestyle that I'm living. Those, I mean, those are absolute situations where every single month I'm doing these and we're just, again, we're drastically improving our clients' lives. And, and that is, again, that's that's the neatest thing. And I, I know I've talked about it before, but with three kids, with Alyssa, Jason, and Molly, the fact that I can that I can teach them to do good things, and yes, you make a living doing this. You've got to get paid. It makes sense. There's fees with this stuff, but knowing that the little thing, the little program or tool or whatever you want to call it, the line of credit that I'm helping set folks up with, just massively changes. It changes the the direction. It changes the trajectory of the retirement of their retirement. I mean, it's just. It's so neat and I'm never going to stop doing these. So anyway, that's all I got. Thank you so much. I'll just, uh, let's see here. Let's go back here. Um, I'm going to give you my contact information again. Again, my name is Jason. I run this channel. I own Key Home Lending. And if you need anything, or if you have any questions, it would be absolutely my pleasure to get to know you and to help you. My contact information is below. So just, uh, just give me a ring. And as you, as hopefully you know, I will do my very, very, very best to help. All right. Take care of yourself and uh, have a wonderful day. If you need me, I'm here for you.